Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Micah just checking in for another video review on a supplement called Trigger. It's a pre-workout and it's actually made from Infinite Mass or BecomeTheMass.com and I actually know these people personally, Christy and Shane Johnson and how they developed this particular pre-workout. They actually have a apparel line as well on there if you want to check it out. I actually have a promo code on there so I'm going to leave that in the comments below so if you're interested in checking it out after this um, definitely show your love for that and then also um, you know with anything with any supplements honestly you don't necessarily need them um, I wouldn't push supplements on a particular person it's more so an added benefit what's going to help elevate what they're really wanting to focus on what their goals are and if they're already doing everything that they're doing you know all that all that they can be doing as far as their workouts their training you know really what they're doing with their nutrition supplements supplement what you're doing already so if you're not doing all the right things or at least most of the things it's really not going to do as much as it can um, later on so um, so with that little disclaimer I'll kind of go through this ingredient label as far as what's in it um, what it's actually supposed to do and just some of my thoughts initially with taking this for a few days and so looking over the ingredient list you've got L-glutamine, creatine monohydrate, L-arginine, caffeine, branched chain amino acids, beta alanine and bitter orange powder and then there's some other ingredients listed after that um, but basically uh, what you see is what you get uh, you you aren't gonna um, you know get a lot of fillers in this, which is really nice. Plus, it actually gives you the breakdown of what you're how much you're actually getting per scoop or per serving, and you know. And so, looking at this at first glance, um, this is something that typically most companies are kind of leaning towards is really putting as many um, of the ingredients in there with how much you're getting, and that's a plus because you're spending all this money on something you want to know exactly what you're getting um, so I'll go down the list and really what each ingredient is supposed to be doing uh, or like the benefits of it uh, so the first one is L-glutamine typically it comes in like five grams it's usually attached to a whey protein or a supplement including branched chain amino acids L-glutamine is really the most abundant amino acid that you could that's in your body um, generally, there are two major reasons why you should supplement for L-glutamine um, or should. And number one is if you have chronic sickness, health, chronic health conditions, there's a lot of stress on the body. So generally, you may have less um, glutamine floating around into your body. And so it may be helpful to supplement at that point. And then the other reason is... And when, when you're in extreme deficit, if you're contest prepping per se, or you're just, you know, kind of depleted, if you're in like a fat loss phase, you may not have a sufficient amount of glutamine floating around uh, for your body to utilize. So it may be another opportunity to um, supplement with glutamine. Um, so this one actually comes with 1,060 milligrams of L-glutamine. And generally, right now, I'm taking two scoops of this, so I'm getting about two grams of L-glutamine in this product. And then moving on to creatine monohydrate. So generally, with creatine monohydrate, it's the most researched supplement that's on the market right now. It's not even marketed as something pretty um, in, in a GNC or a vitamin shop. It's generally a generic brand or generic covering label. Um, but it's actually really effective. Basically with creatine monohydrate, what that does is when you're actually lifting weights and ATP is basically that, um, that initial energy that you're using when you're doing like a fast movement. Um, and what happens is it breaks down uh, as you continue that movement. So it actually it's called adenosine triphosphate. And basically, there's three tri, you know, phosphate groups, and within that, and as it breaks apart, it just makes it so that it makes you know, creatine monohydrate basically helps with 
having more opportunities for phosphate groups to get together so that ATP can be created again um, within that, that mixture. And it just helps out with uh, recovery, it helps out with lean muscle tissue building, um, just helps out with strength overall. And so typically, you know, you get five grams in a, in a serving. And, but the idea is just to have 100% saturation in the muscle so even if it's only one gram like what's in this product or taking two scoops two grams you're eventually going to get to 100% saturation um, some products will tell you to load creatine monohydrate it's taking like 20 grams a day um, that's really not necessary to get you're going to get there faster you're going to get to 100% saturation quicker um, but it really doesn't matter you're eventually going to get there and so once you're at 100%, you're not going to go anything higher than 100%. Um, so what I typically do is I use this and, like I said, I take two scoops and then I add three extra grams of creatine monohydrate from another generic brand um, that I still have. And so I can get that five grams per day. And then looking at L-arginine, L-arginine is basically a precursor to nitric oxide and basically a vasodilator. So the idea is to get, to open up, you know, your blood vessels as you're working out, more blood volume going to the muscle, more nutrients are being, you know, carried through that blood to the muscle, which helps out, um, you know, with the whole process of, you know, sustaining that lean muscle tissue or just helps supplementing, um, you know, the, you know, that, as you're working out and typically it's three to six grams that you want to see in, uh, in a product um, for pro proper dosing um, so you get a thousand fifty eight milligrams so generally I get a little over two grams when I take this so I'm missing maybe a gram out of that and I totally understand with everybody responds differently and really what's going to help um, support their um, their potential um, as they continue to work out in the gym and do their things with nutrition. Um, so, but generally that's what it said is that three to six grams is more appropriate uh, for dosing. And so on a side note, typically um, you know, citrulline malate is another supplement that actually helps um, you know, convert into arginine as it enters into the kidneys and it converts into that. And it's actually a lot more, um, you know, the absorption rate is actually better uh, within that type of supplementation. But all arginine is definitely still effective um, as far as that's concerned. Um, so I would like to see it a little bit more higher in the dosage, possibly in a future, uh, maybe a trigger 2.0. And then branch chain amino acids, uh, it says in here, uh, with the matrix you get a thousand twenty five milligrams uh, typically you want to see a three to like a two one one ratio between l leucine l isoleucine and l valine and i typically like seeing the breakdown of what each is so that you know that you're getting a good ratio um, between the three and so l leucine basically what that does is it helps the process of muscle protein synthesis start. Um, so without that, without that um, L-leucine component, that amino acid, muscle protein synthesis isn't gonna happen. Um, so it's really nice to have that, um, definitely a, a nice factor when it comes down to building lean muscle tissue. Um, L-isoleucine basically helps out with fat loss. It helps release uh, fatty acids. Um, to be utilized as energy and then also alveolin is basically it counters tryptophan tryptophan is not only found in turkey and makes you tired but also when you're working out as you're you know fatigued that's tryptophan and so alveolin actually tries to counter that um, that tryptophan um, so that you are able to continue throughout your workout stay focus driven um, within that particular uh, workout and then Looking over the last ingredient that says bitter orange uh, powder. Um, so basically, what that does is what I've looked into. It actually helps out with weight loss. 
uh, where it actually helped. It could speed up your, your heart rate, your blood pressure. Um, so generally, with anything, um, you know, when you're working out and you have heart conditions, if you're doing cardio, strength training, there's some definitely um, some, uh, some recommendations, some restrictions that you may have to follow according to your doctor. And with anything with supplements, you just don't know um, how your body's going to respond. So you always want to be mindful and speaking to your doctor. Hey, I'm going to you know, start utilizing this. Can you look over the ingredients and tell me if there's anything that stands out to you that wouldn't be appropriate for me to take with my current conditions? Um, and then, so the other thing was beta alanine. So beta alanine um, is kind of a buffering agent. So basically what happens when you work out, uh, you get a lot of lactic acid buildup. Uh, you start getting fatigued, you start feeling the pain, um, and you stop. And it takes a little bit for you to recover. Basically, beta alanine helps out as a buffering system. It helps level out your pH levels um, so that actually you can recover quicker, you can get to your next set, you can accomplish a little bit more reps um, throughout that set as you continue to um, you know, supplement with that. Generally, you're going to get that tingly feeling when you first take it. But that actually goes away, goes goes away quite easily. Um, but the proper dosage is about two to five grams. And if you take two scoops of this, um, you're going to get a little over two and a half grams of uh, beta alanine. And so, basically, um, the other ingredients um, is you know sugar, maltodextrin. Um, you got some sweeteners um, with the flavoring. You got citric acid, sucralose, malic acid. Basically, malic acid is just supposedly it's like found in citrus fruits, and it can help out with reducing pain. And then silica helps out with um, you know preserving um, or avoiding spoilage. It's used to help with not uh, with food products so that it actually lasts a little bit longer. Um, so those are just some of the um, the other ingredients, but generally what you see is what you get with this product. You're not going to get any fillers. Um, uh, I would hope that you know some of the ingredients would get up to a little bit more of the dosing. I've already spoken to um, Shane about what it would look like if you could add a little bit more to the dosing and, and a few of these ingredients just to help out with. Um, what's been found in research and he's totally open to suggestions which is really helpful um, it's really kind of funny with the scoop in there it actually measures out to five grams when you actually measure that and I, I know that's not necessarily a big thing but for me it is because generally when you weigh out um, when you compare a scoop to how much the serving size how much it weighs it, it definitely doesn't match up a lot of times and you generally lose a lot more of that product that you're taking a lot quicker you use it a lot quicker it's kind of a marketing thing i think uh, but he's really trying to work on getting a proper scoop that can hold the right amount um, for the proper dosage and get possibly a bigger container so i'm very hopeful on that front end on what that really looks like but overall it's really good the watermelon flavor is on spot on it's not really super strong it's actually something that's really nice and easy um, as far as um, it's not really um, bitter or anything and it actually mixes really well. But if there's any questions, if there's anything that you have questions about, definitely you leave them on the comments below. Also, you can check out the, the promo code uh, to get to their website below. And if you are interested in checking out their apparel or any of their, you know, that supplement trigger, then you can definitely utilize that. But other than that, thanks for checking in. Have a good one. Bye-bye.